transmitted, but please do sit on that water bottle all day long. Thank you. We'll say goodbye to Anna and our station masters. Great job all day long. Thank you so much for making sure everybody got on board safely. And we got our work. And thank you everybody for joining us. We hope that you had a wonderful time as you moved around the Greenfield Village today. Looking at over 300 years of American history, that was the dream of Henry Ford. The Greenfield Village is divided into seven different districts, and the very first one is the Henry Ford Model T. Look over to your left, and you're going to see a white farmhouse that was built in 1861 from Dearborn Township. That was the birthplace of Henry Ford. He was born on July 30th, 1863, up on the second floor, the oldest of six children. And we also have the Ford Motor Company where you can see or uh, listen to how Henry Ford came up with the vision of a motor car in 1908, the Model T. Forever. Our next district takes us into Main Street where we have the Wright Brothers and the Wright Brothers Cycle Shop, which we refer to it as the birthplace of aviation. It was on December 17, 1903, when they took that first flight at Kitty Hawk. We also have Mrs. Cohen's Millinery Shop, where we have staff that work on hats and other accessories, just like Mrs. Cohen did back in the 1880s. We have the Heinz House from Sharpsville, Pennsylvania, built in 1854. And we also have the Herschel Stone in here as well. It's not every day that you can see before you stand. Everybody, just to go over some safety tips, please remain seated. Do not stand up and move around with the weather while the train's in motion. Keeping your head, hands, and feet inside the cars at all times. And please, do not make sure you hold on to the small children as we move through here. Over to the left is the Susquehanna Plantation. Back in the day, it was 700 acres big, built in 1835 from St. Mary's County, Maryland. The Carroll family owned this plantation and tobacco was the cash crop. Next, we have the oldest American home here at Greenfield Village, built in the late 1600s from Sunsbury, Massachusetts. Mr. and Mrs. Clinton raised seven children in that one room home. The Ferris window was built in 1650 from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. It happens to be the oldest standing windmill in the United States. The Daggett Family Farmhouse Home and the Connecticut built in 1754. Samuel Daggett, people in the cooling system. We have a pasture for our draft butcher on, and Morgan Horses right here getting a little rest and relaxation. 
58 by the Grand Trunk Railway. Smith Creek was located about 10 miles west of Port Huron, Michigan. The, the Grand Trunk made it a place for the station master to live where he worked because his job was 24-7. Henry Ford brought it here in 1928 because of, he learned of a young Thomas Edison connection. Across the street is the Edison Illuminating Power Plant. Young Henry Ford had one of his first professional jobs as a steam engineer. And across the street, there's our new building. It's the Detroit Central Market. We will have activities here on September 17th and 18th. Vendors will be coming. Signature crafters and also cooking demonstrations will take place. An event that you do not want to miss. The activities begin at 10 o'clock and end at 4.30. Over to your left, we have the Detroit Toledo Milwaukee Roundhouse, and on the side of the building is the Baldwin No. 7 steam locomotive. It pulled our second train around the Greenfield Village, and we'll do so again. We'll have a two-train day tomorrow. We have three steam locomotives all, uh, in all. The Torch Lake is our third one. The Craft Craftworks is a district where you could see our artisans working just like they did back then. And they use the same skills and tools that they would have used back in the day. We have the Davidson Person Gallery of Glass here for you to be displayed in the gallery. We are now approaching our working farm district. It's also the, the last of our districts here at Greenfield Village. Here we have a